Hi, I'm Joni Hilton, your YouTube mom. Today, let's talk about germs. They're everywhere, right? But I'm gonna show you 10 places that might surprise you where germs are hiding so you can avoid it. First of all, you're gonna be shocked at this. Did you know that in the schools, cafeteria trays and the spigots of drinking fountains have been found to contain more germs than toilet seats? Yeah, okay. <laughs> Let me tell you some other places that are pretty germy. A cell phone. Think how often you touch it. You might even hand it to someone else and they touch it or you touch theirs. I am telling you, wipe off your cell phones with something antiseptic. Now, what's it resting on? A backpack. Backpacks and handbags and purses get thrown on the floor, uh, get thrown on the floor of the car as well. In fact, I made another YouTube video for you about how dirty the underside of a purse can be and how we shouldn't put it on a table, even though I have it on a table here to show you but at a restaurant or where you're gonna be eating, do not put these items. People put them down on the floor in restrooms. They put them on the floor where people walk with their dirty shoes. We should be cleaning the bottoms at the very least of these items and watch where you place them. In the classroom, have your kids use a pencil box. Put, a, put all the markers and pens and everything in a box so that you're not sharing and trading. And that goes for you too, whether you're at the bank, a restaurant, the grocery store, and someone gives you a pen to sign for something, use your own pen. You don't know where that other one's been. Now this will surprise you. Soap dispensers often have more germs on the outside than you would ever believe. Because even though the soap inside is a good thing to wash your hands with, people touch them with dirty hands. The outside, the top, kind of need to wipe those off too. Now, in the kitchen, the dirtiest spot, and I think I've shown you this before too, is the can opener blade. Whether you have an electric one attached under your cabinet or whether you use a hand one, every time you use it, clean it. These kind, of course, you can put through the dishwasher. Now, what about dish towels? Don't ever use them to wipe a surface. All you're doing is smearing the germs around. Dish towels, as the name implies, are for clean dishes, just to dry dishes, not your hands, not the counters. For that stuff, use disposable things like paper towels. Now, when you go to the supermarket, a lot of us use canvas bags instead of paper or plastic. But guess what? They have found E. coli from meat juices in these canvas bags. So make sure you launder yours often. And when you're going through the market and there's a conveyor belt, and I've said this before too, it's all kind of in one right now, the juices of meats from the previous customer are still on that conveyor belt. So you put your fruit down, your cereal, your bread, your Kleenex, whatever you've bought, and now it has all those germs on it. So wash your things off when you get them at home. Uh, when you're at home also, speaking of washing things off, use a separate cutting board for meats as opposed to vegetables and fruits. And then always, always of course, wash those. Our shoes, now everybody knows the bottom of a shoe is really dirty. But when you are putting it on in the morning, and it can be a dressy shoe or it could be tennis shoes, sometimes to get it on our foot, we put our hand underneath and kind of help push that shoe on. Wash your hands. So bottom line, wash your hands a lot. Use hand sanitizer. Tell your kids not to share chapstick or drinks with other people. Eat right, get your rest, get plenty of fluids, stay warm and you can avoid most of the flu season. I'm Joni Hilton, your YouTube mom. Be sure to leave a comment if you want me to talk about some other subject that you have questions about, and tell your friends to subscribe. We'll see you next time. <laughs>